In about a half an hour from now, the top four candidates running for California's U.S. Senate will take the stage. Democrats, Adam Schiff, Katie Porter, Barbara Lee, and Republican former baseball star Steve Garvey will face off in L.A. in the first televised debate. Joining me live now is political science professor at Sonoma State University, David McEwen. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, David, these candidates are vying to fill the late Senator Dianne Feinstein's seat. What are you expecting to see in tonight's debate? Look, uh, Adam Schiff uh, is in the driver's seat. He's mm -hmm. the front runner here. But uh, can Steve Garvey really perform uh, on the debate stage? We haven't heard or seen a lot of Steve Garvey. Can he hold his own uh, with the others who were there? Uh, Barbara Lee, the Bay Area's own Barbara Lee, is, is trying to turn out progressives. She's been polling far behind in, in, in single digits. And Katie Porter has to thread the needle. So you're going to watch the Democrats come after uh, on this anniversary of the Roe decision, someone like Steve Garvey. Garvey has to show that he can perform. And if he can perform, can he move on to that second stage, given uh, California's kind of top two system. Uh, nonetheless, Adam Schiff's still in the driver's seat in this particular race. Yeah, it's interesting. I want to go back to Steve Garvey. It's, it, I want to get your take on him because, it's, as you mentioned, it's his first political debate. He doesn't have a lot of political experience, if any. But given that the field is what it is, does that actually work to his advantage to be kind of the outsider of this group? Yeah, I mean, look, there are a lot of Democrats in the states uh, and, you know, about one in four voters roughly are Republicans, but Republicans stay closer to party. They vote more in mass. They don't tend to scatter like Democrats do. And, and as a result, these Democrats are kind of slicing and dicing the electorate. That's true. So if, if Republicans stay whole, someone like Garvey, if he's providing an alternative to the other two Republicans in the race who are not on the debate stage, he can move forward from March into November. Nonetheless, by moving forward, it's still a long shot for him to, to move forward. He's going to have to answer questions about Donald Trump, who's not popular in California, but popular with Republicans. He's going to have to deal with the issue of reproductive rights. He's going to hit uh, hard foreign policy questions like Gaza and Israel and what that looks like. So his goal tonight is to show that he can be on that stage and hold his own. It's a little bit lower bar, but it's also his first introduction to the state's voters and to Republicans. It'll be an interesting kind of debate in that sense. We may not see another one. So this is really going to be his moment to try to break through. OK, so just to recap, the top two vote getters will advance to the November election. Real quickly, how do you think tonight's debate is going to set the tone for the March 5th primary, though? Yeah, I mean, look, voters are just going to start getting mail. They're starting right. to see ads. Uh, Adam Schiff is clearly that favorite. The institutional kind of Democrats have uh, aligned uh, behind him. It's going to be hard for, for Barbara Lee, I think, to cut through. She cut some of that progressive vote. And then Katie Porter's got to really thread that needle. Mm. That's also a tough thing. So look for Garvey and Schiff and what they do. Adam Schiff should play it safe tonight. We'll see if that's so. All right, David McEwen, thank you so much.